Welcome to day nine, a big jump in scenery because obviously the last time you saw us before the drive we were in Brisbane which is a city and now we're in the beautiful Warrenbongle National Park and we're going to do some walking today. But first up, there's flies everywhere. Flies all over the shop. Yesterday was a big old day of driving, about eight hours. Actually ended up being more than that, didn't it? Yep. Ended yeah. up being nearer nine hours of driving. But it's worth it because where we are is pretty breathtaking and uh, hopefully the footage from today should show that off. Also, on our, on our drive in last night, as we were coming into the National Park, I thought I spotted a kangaroo on the side of the road and I was like, Glenn, there's a kangaroo. And it was like too dark to see it. And then all of a sudden, there's just about 15 in the road right in front of us. I wish it wasn't dark because I would have been able to film it properly, but we've gone from seeing no kangaroos to seeing loads of kangaroos and this entire entire national park is sort of flooded with, flooded with them a little bit. So hopefully there should be lots more kangaroos to spot. <laughs> So plan for the day, we're here, we're going to go, I'm going the right way aren't I? There, yeah? Yeah. From there, that route, round there, then bosh up to that peak which is meant to look like it's going to have loads of good views of all of this area. Let's do it. So to summarise, we've got a little walk, then a very steep ascent up to the top of Matcha Tor, which is apparently a rocky summit, but the view should be mwah. This is all bushfire damage. It's true right here. Yeah. Isn't that there, right there? Now can you imagine just all of that being in flames? That's terrifying. And what is the current risk of bushfire? Very high, but that's on the low end of the scale. That's the second lowest yeah. and it says high, very high. What's the top one? What is it, Robbie? Catastrophic. Catastrophic. I see ca oh, catastrophic's like a good level, but I feel like the sign has to be on fire. For it to be catastrophic, so there probably won't be anyone to twist the needle. Yeah, then let's really know that it's gone bad. <laughs> so we've reached the end of the peaceful walk, and now we've got the small matter of slightly more vertical walk. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you try and film. And you don't look where you're going. Oh, that's sore. Right, let's go. I think that's it. I think that's the top. Yeah, 40 metres. 40 metres away. But steep. Somehow we've got to get up there, though. You want to bring the ropes? I didn't bring the ropes. All right, free. bring the ropes? Yeah, I got them. Come I didn't really. Pro free climber. In other news, flies are currently eating my flesh. <laughs> I didn't want to risk it with the last bit of that climb because it was just sheer rocks. But we made it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This is a proper summit, like no massive, you know, half a mile long ridge. This is just us. Cliff drop, cliff drop, cliff drop. We are the only people on this peak right now. about got everything that we wanted to get at the top here although every time you get to like a summit like this you worry about going down because you think did you get all the video you want did you get all those all the different types of photos you wanted to take eventually you have to just go screw it go down hope for the best but i think we nailed it i think we did well boys 
Guys, oh my god, Robbie, you're a festival of flies. Done. Back from the hike, and I think we have all deserved a hearty meal. Robbie is on the ones and twos, otherwise known as the frying pan and the saucepan. What's on the menu tonight, pal? We are having a chicken and mushroom pesto pasta. Sounds good to me. The other thing is, we're sitting in the camper now, obviously, going to eat in a bit, but if you look outside, There are just kangaroos everywhere. Crazy, but so cool. Robbie's gone to get a shot. I'll finish off the dinner. Right. Bon appetit, boys. Cheers, mate. Pal. Cheers, this guy, you did it. More is lead. Dinner well and truly finished us off. Now it's ready for bed. Just need to finish off the vlog that's going up so you guys can watch it. But that is it from Warren Bungle National Park. Tomorrow we head to Blue Mountains, which has probably been the thing that may be the thing I've been most looking forward to about this whole trip. I've seen some pictures and I just want to see it with my own eyes so bad. See you then. Oh.